hundreds of people have had to leave their homes over fears over a volcanic eruption. More than a thousand earthquakes have hit the area since midnight. A shocking disaster has just befallen a small town in Iceland. Earthquakes, fissures, landslides and lava flows have emerged from the roaring bowels of the Earth's crust. But experts have predicted that all of this is merely a build-up to a cataclysmic volcanic eruption that may wipe the entire country off the face of the map. What is happening to Iceland's largest volcano? How catastrophic is the anticipated event? Can they survive it? Join us in this video as Iceland's largest volcano ever is waking up. Volcanoes are one of the most intriguing and yet destructive wonders of nature. It's always thrilling to see hot, liquid, molten rock spill or flow out from the earth, forming shiny red magma pools. But it gets terrifying when you consider that this same lava is hot enough to melt your flesh off your bones in an instant. Moreover, there are mesmerizing ash clouds and flashes of lightning that almost always accompany these events. These too may seem mesmerizing on camera, but can potentially wipe out an entire community in a few minutes. And so, as much as we've held volcanoes in awe, we've also harbored a deep fear for these fierce, unforgiving mountains and rocks. Anywhere there's an active volcano, you'd rarely find a human settlement there. If there are, then such citizens would have to be on high alert because, at any moment, their lives could end. This same scenario is happening as we speak, as Iceland's people face a major threat to their existence from a volcano locally named Fagradalsfjall. Fagradalsfjall is an active volcano in Iceland, located about 40 kilometers from Reykjavik. It is part of the Reykjans Ridge, which in itself is part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Just so you know, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a mid-ocean ridge found along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. Mid-ocean ridges are the Earth's largest magma-producing systems. You can picture it as a chain of volcanic mountains or ridges on the Earth that seem to wrap around the globe like threads on a baseball. These mid-ocean ridges are found at the intersecting points of tectonic plates. As the plates spread apart, the upwelling mantle decompresses and melts. These molten rocks then travel up to the surface. The volcanic system of Fagradalsfjall covers an area of about 5 kilometers, with the highest point measuring 385 meters. Although this volcano is classified as active, no eruption has occurred here for the past 815 years. However, things changed in March 2021 when a fissure appeared and began to act as a vent for volcanic lava. You see, volcanoes are a complex system. They operate by collecting molten rock or magma inside underground chambers. These rocks get melted due to the extreme temperature deep within the earth. In this molten state, the rock is lighter than the surrounding solid earth, so it's easy to travel upwards. As it navigates upwards, it is released to the earth's surface through vents or fissures. However, things are not always peaceful and easy going with volcanoes. Time and again, the world has witnessed several violent eruptions. Usually, violent volcanic eruptions occur when pressure is built up in the magma chambers. If the chamber is full and there is gas trapped inside under intense pressure, there's bound to be a violent eruption sooner or later. In other cases, these occur due to the tectonic forces within the Earth. 60% of the world's active volcanoes occur at the meeting point of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are the large slabs of rock dividing the Earth's crust. These plates usually rub or slide against each other, generating stress and tension, which is then released as earthquakes. Such forceful release of stress can also trigger any volcanoes located at this intersection point. This explains why, sometimes, volcano eruptions are accompanied by earthquakes. In fact, if you live near a volcano, an earthquake is usually the first sign that follows before an eruption. This exact scenario is what is playing out in Iceland. When the first fissure appeared in 2021, a series of mild earthquakes followed. And then, 
lava began to flow. It continued flowing for the next six months. This eruption was very small, and since it wasn't close to where humans lived, it didn't pose any threat to the people of Iceland. In fact, it became a tourist attraction. It wasn't uncommon to find several Icelanders flocking to the site, taking photos and videos of this tourist eruption. Many tour companies would also use winged aircraft or unmanned drones to survey the eruption from above. Researchers and volcanologists also found the site quite thrilling and were often found retrieving magma samples for research. The 600-foot-long crack allowed lava to flow without any explosive activity or volcanic ash, so it was quite safe for the excited tourists. The number of fissures soon began to increase. By the following weeks, there were up to six in total, all erupting, until it all ended roughly six months later. By the next year, another eruption kicked off in another part of Fagradalsfjall, lasting three weeks from August 3rd 2022. And then, the recent one, which burst out in November, is set to take out the neighboring landscape. The volcano had been silently gearing up all the while for a final eruption. As of August 5th, the famous tiny eruption had begun to calm down, and webcam images could only detect a few minor activities in the crater. The tremors had also reduced drastically. However, there were still noticeable gas plumes at the site. It seemed like the eruption was finally over. No one knew this was just the calm before the storm. Volcanic experts have discovered that the magma had been secretly rising upwards since October 23rd until it stopped a little close to the surface and then began to accumulate more volume. Then, by November, several earthquakes rocked the surrounding landscape proving that this volcano was due for a surface eruption. These earthquakes were occurring because the magma was intruding into the Earth's crust from below, fighting to come out. The quakes really became serious from November 9th. Throughout the day, the tremors progressively migrated over 3,000 meters toward the northeast. Experts predict that it will only be a few days before the full strength of the eruption is released. The earthquakes prompted the Icelandic Meteorological Office, IMO, to declare a civil protection emergency for the citizens of Iceland. Although the affected areas are mainly the part of Iceland pointing to the Atlantic Ocean, the whole country has been put on high alert. Natural disasters like earthquakes can be quite unpredictable, so taking chances based on scientific calculations can be very costly. As the danger draws ever near, locals are left in a state of panic, no one knows when this volcano will finally erupt, but volcanologists predict that it may be in the next few weeks or even days. In just 48 hours between November 9 and 11, the situation of the volcanic activity underground changed rapidly. Over 2,800 earthquakes were recorded within this period amidst steady lava flows. As of November 9, about 1,400 quakes were recorded. By the next day, which was Friday, another 800 quakes were recorded within the first 14 hours of the day. Some of these quakes were of magnitude 4 to 5, enough to rattle a building to its core. Iceland's medical office has reported that these latest quakes are the largest recorded since the 2023 magma activity began in the peninsula. It's expected that seismic activity will follow suit in the coming days. Earthquakes have always been a major player in volcanic eruptions. This is because the energy released by earthquakes can trigger a volcanic eruption. One other way volcanic eruptions and earthquakes are related is in the magma activity. As magma forces its way through the earth, intruding pores and spaces to enter a chamber and expand, it causes tension to build up in the earth. And as usual, such tension would be released as quakes or tremors. One typical example of when earthquakes preceded an eruption is the 1943 Paracutan volcanic eruption. Before the actual eruption, the town was troubled by earthquakes up to magnitude 4.5. Although a majority of the 2,800 quakes recorded in Grindavik were below magnitude 3.0, it doesn't make it any less dangerous. Such tiny terrors are still capable of opening small fissures in the earth which could pave the way for intense magma flows. 
Local authorities reported that they've already sighted a fissure that's nearly 15 kilometers long, and they worry that this gap in the earth could usher in a massive eruption. Right now, a state of emergency has been declared in Grindavik, Iceland, and residents have been evacuated. Many experts fear that this imminent eruption will be extremely disastrous and may even last for weeks. Such a colossal eruption would completely obliterate the entire town. And so there's no doubt that many properties would be destroyed in this catastrophic event. Grindavik citizens were evacuated swiftly. The authorities gave only 15 minutes for everyone to gather their belongings and move out. Within a few hours, the entire town was empty. And so, many had to leave some important properties behind. All roads leading to the town have been shut, and only the international airport remains open. There's no doubt that having to leave your home in these unfortunate circumstances can be quite painful. It gets even more discomforting when you realize that you may never be able to return again. Many locals have been traumatized by this event, as it's a sad reminder of the tragedy that occurred over 10 years ago when another volcano in Iceland erupted. This happened in 2010, and the volcano in question is the Ejafjallajökull volcano. When the Ejafjallajökull erupted, it emitted a massive ash cloud that made it impossible for planes to fly. This prompted a shutdown of aviation worldwide, causing over 50,000 flights to be canceled and affecting over 8 million passengers in the process. And so the question is, will this next eruption be as colossal as the Ejafjallajökull? If yes, what will be the fate of Iceland and the rest of the world? Local authorities in Iceland believe that the Fagradalsfjall eruption would be more of lava outbursts than ash clouds. Matthew James Roberts, the managing director of the Service and Research Division, explained why this is so. Here's what he told BBC. First of all, there isn't an ice cap on top, and it's not a stratovolcano, so there wouldn't be an explosive blast of volcanic ash into the atmosphere. This would be a lava-producing volcanic eruption along a series of fissures, and that would be the main hazard. Just so you know, stratovolcanoes are those that contain alternating layers of lava and ash. These types of volcanoes also have a cone shape with steep sides. A good example of such a volcano is Mount Vesuvius in Italy. The epic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD remains one of the deadliest volcanic disasters to date. The thermal energy from the epic blast was far worse than what was witnessed in the Hiroshima bomb blast. A monumental cloud of thick, hot ash and gases was released high into the atmosphere at the rate of about 1.5 million tons per second. The event marked the end of certain towns and villages like Pompeii and Herculaneum, as everything was buried in volcanic ash. Although the damage scale of the incoming Iceland volcanic eruption is uncertain, many fear that the surrounding areas won't survive, roads, homes and infrastructure would be totally destroyed as lava flow is expected to last for weeks. Several new cracks, landslides and fissures have appeared on Grindavik roads following the intense seismic activities recorded. If more fissures appear amidst the predicted lava flows, there may not be anything left of this once peaceful town. The world may just watch a similar tragedy of what happened to Pompeii play out all over again. But then, some volcanists have argued that the recent surge in earthquakes doesn't really spell an imminent eruption. These scientists argue that all the tremors could just be a way to ease stress and not necessarily an impact of magma intruding. They also propose that if magma was accumulating, certain parts of the peninsula should have begun swelling. However, no swollen areas have been found besides the usual cracks, fissures, and landslides. However, many credible experts and the government don't buy into this theory. The events of 2023 are very similar to what happened in 2021, right before an eruption occurred on Fagra Dalsfjall. This time, the signs are much stronger, so it is believed the danger level is a lot higher. Thorvaldur Thordarsson, a professor of volcanology at Iceland University, had this to say, I don't think it's long before an eruption, hours or a few days. 
the chance of an eruption has increased significantly. As of November 10, 2023, smoke was seen rising from the ground to the east of Fagradalsfjall. Many experts have postulated that this smoke was actually caused by the eruptions that took place from July to August 2023. The magma is still cooling, hence the smoke. However, many experts have predicted that the destruction from the Fagradalsfjall volcanic eruption will majorly affect the Blue Lagoon, the Svartsengi geothermal power plant, and most of all, the coastal town of Grindavik. The Blue Lagoon happens to be one of Iceland's most spectacular tourist destinations. Many believe this breathtaking body of water to have healing properties. The warm water here is actually a byproduct of the geothermal water used for a geothermal power plant nearby. This geothermal water comes from deep below the Earth's surface, about 2,000 meters, traveling through pores in the Earth's crust to get to Earth. After using the superheated water to generate electricity, it is passed through a heat exchanger before being fed into the lagoon. The amount of minerals in this water is very high, while the amount of bacteria in it is very minimal. This special trait is why folks come from all over the world to swim in this water and enjoy its medicinal content. Blue Lagoon is merely a short distance from Grindavik, about three to six hours of hiking time. The road to this site from Grindavik is quite steep, with uneven rocky ground. Iceland authorities have been particularly worried about lava flows encroaching into this region as well as fissures showing up on the roads. However, the lagoon has been sealed off due to the risk of an eruption. Authorities expect to open it up to the public again by November 16th, but it's all under probability. One scary thing about Iceland's looming eruption is that it's not just threatening Grindavik and the surrounding towns, but the whole country. You see, the recent earthquakes have spread to other towns like Reykjans. There was a time earthquakes were common in Iceland, but those days are long gone. This is why the citizens were very shocked when over 2,000 earthquakes hit Grindavik in barely two days. Right now, there's no telling if these quakes will continue to spread to the rest of Iceland or if the ripple effects of the incoming eruption will shake the entire country. Just so you know, Iceland is one of the world's hotspots for volcanoes. The country is home to about 33 active volcanoes. And so, there's a chance that the Fagradalsfjall volcanic eruption may trigger other active volcanoes in the area to awaken and spill lava. Such a catastrophic event would bring total destruction to the whole of Iceland. This is what experts fear to be the worst-case scenario. The best-case scenario isn't very bright either. At the very least, the Fagradalsfjall would cause lava flows that would ruin the entire town of Grindavik, as well as any lands nearby. The local authorities are well aware of this, hence the necessary evacuation. But they're not stopping there. Iceland authorities are also building a high dirt wall around Fagradalsfjall to protect the surrounding towns from any lava or mud flows. The Reykjanes Peninsula, in which the Fagradalsfjall volcano is located, has been confirmed to be a part of the Reykjanes Ridge, which is a small land part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The topography of the Reykjanes Peninsula was born out of volcanoes and glaciers. A good part of the peninsula is covered by basaltic lava fields, and you'll also see an abundance of crater rows, strange ridges, and tuyas. Tuyas are a kind of subglacial volcano formed when lava erupts through an ice sheet. They are usually flat-topped and very rare. Several submarine volcanic systems exist around the peninsula as a continuation of the ridge. This is why there's a fear that this eruption will spike others when it reaches full maturity. Some volcanologists have even predicted that the 2023 Iceland eruption will usher in a decade of eruptions. In other words, this is all just the beginning. You may wonder, how bad can it really get? Should the rest of the world be worried? Well, it could be an apocalyptic event. Imagine a small island country surrounded by underground volcanoes with one of the prominent ones igniting flames. Surely the rest will follow, right? So, if the hundreds of sub-glacially formed volcanoes in Iceland erupt in response to Fagradalsfjall, 
then it looks very bad for the good people of Iceland. Being an island nation caught between the North Atlantic and the Arctic Oceans, there won't be much of an escape if a nationwide catastrophe breaks out. To worsen matters, the volcanic area is also home to Iceland's main airport, Keflavik International. If this airport goes down in the event of an eruption, it would be a great loss, especially if a nationwide evacuation becomes necessary. Remember, Iceland is dominated by rift valleys as well as cones, tuyas, and related volcanic structures. This rift system means there is no single volcano, so nowhere is truly safe. Cracks can open anywhere to release lava, and any of such cracks can also serve as vents for hot volcanic ash as well as poisonous gases. Some experts fear that even if it doesn't lead to total destruction of Iceland, a severe eruption will release ash and gases that could poison the atmosphere and cause several breathing complications and lung illnesses for Icelanders. Many may fall ill or even die. As of now, the Icelandic government has revealed that they are just waiting for the eruption to occur. The nation is already prepared for whatever damages this may bring to the Reykjanes Peninsula. However, as for the other towns and cities in the country, the government and citizens hope that they don't get caught in the aftermath of the eruption. Given the topography and complexity of Iceland and its volcanic systems, there's no telling what will happen or how huge it will be. Only time will tell. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.